Hi everyone and welcome to my lair. I am Barbie and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm here to show you how to make this super simple cute card. This particular birthday card uses the Varied Vases stamp set and for today's um, stamping we're going to be using these flowers, this fill-in, and then um, this these three stamps here, the, the two flower and then this um, little middle that goes for both of them, as well as the leaf and the um, leaf fill-in, inks today, look at how nice these stack, I'm just, can't get over these new stamp pads, <laughs> um, these are the colors we're going to be using today, we've got lovely lipstick, pineapple, punch, blackberry bliss, and color me clover. And for materials today, super simple. Um, my go-to card base, eight and a half by five and a half squared and folded at four and a quarter to make the way cool um, card base. Our first layer is the pineapple punch. And that is in, um, I'm sorry, that is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then a piece of Whisper White, which is an inch and a half by five and a quarter inches. Also, saying that these are the... Um, photopolymer stamps that are kind of stained because that's what happens. Um, saying they're the photopolymer stamps, I am uh, using my paper pierce mat and so that I don't get that all um, inked up and such in the making of this video, I am going to go ahead and cover that up with some scrap paper. Now, um, if you are not sure as to why I use the um, paper pierce mat. gives a little bit of an added oomph to um, and support to the stamps because um, otherwise you're not going to get a very good um, image. And I'm going to have all those open. Let's see how many colors I can get on my fingers today. Now normally I would work from the lightest to darkest, but with the way that I have this set up, I want to make sure that this particular stamp is getting stamped in the correct spots, and because this is the biggest stamp. So just clarifying that one. Don't want to um, get you guys confused. Why is she doing it that way? So I'm going to go ahead and stamp in the Blackberry Bliss. And the stamp off. I'm going to take this one off for now. Just for the fact that this is the kind of bigger, messier stamp of them all. And I want to make sure that there's enough room for it. And I'm kind of doing it um, twisting and turning and kind of putting this up kind of all over. Pineapple Punch is going to be this kind of swirly flower. And I'm kind of stamping off of the paper here because I don't want it to make it look like it's been uh, too tremendously overthought here. And this I'm doing full strength, just stamp, uh, grabbing ink from the ink pad and stamping straight Straight on there. I'll put a little bit up there off of it. And one there. And then that's going to come off. And the next one is going to be this particular flower. And this one's going to be in a lovely lipstick. 
And again, full strength. Kind of just filling in as I go where I want to put the... So with this, of course, everyone's going to be a little bit different. So the joys of hand stamping these. And the leaves. Move that over here. And it's going to be this main leaf part. I'm going to put some leaves kind of everywhere on here. And get my fingernail into the ink because that's totally awesome. You guys know me, I'm a messy stamper. As you can tell, messy stamper. Hey, if it's not going everywhere, it's not been a day in my craft room. And I think that's kind of well, one. One more might be able to fit in here. There we go. I don't like to leave too much not stamped, as you can tell. And now it is on to stamping these again to fill them in. So here's the fill-in stamp for the the. Blackberry Bliss colored flower. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up and stamp off and line it up as best as I can. If I don't get it perfect, I'm not going to be too worried about it because I think it adds a little bit more character if it's a little off. Stamp off. Remember to stamp off. Why can't I see through this one? This makes it a little bit easier because this stamp goes for both of them. So I'm going to start off with the pineapple punch and stamp. It's kind of hard to see through this particular stamp so I might get my hair in this if I do oops Oh, that's a lot off. Oh, well. <laughs> and now on to the lovely lipstick. Stamp, stamp off. I love the look of this stamp set doing this. Like I said, I'm not being too particular about getting it completely, perfectly lined up. I think, like I said, a little bit more character if it's off. And then last but not least, the fill-in for the leaf. So 
get my finger in there again. Oh, that was full strength. Oops. All right. And there's that. We'll let that dry a little bit. All right. And I have an issue right now with lining stamps up. So I put my birthday wishes stamp on my Stamparatus, which as you can tell is rather well used and definitely needs to get scrubbed up a bit, but that'll be another day. <laughs> and so I'm going to take out my Memento ink. Ink up the birthday wishes stamp, which I did not mention that I was going to use today. But this is also in the varied, um, varied vases. And again, it is a photopolymer stamp. So, um, you'll want to use, if you're uh, hand stamping this on a block, you'll want to use your, um, paper pierce mat. The Stamparatus comes with a foam sheet to use with the photopolymer stamps. So I have that down, and the magnet still holds on pretty tight through the, through the foam. So there is that real fast here. Now all we're going to do is do some layering here. Grab my snail. And this is about a half an inch over is the placement for this strip, as I'm doing it anyway. And so there's that. And I have just a little bit of an overhang here. So I'm going to take out my paper snips. And snip that down so it's even. And snail up the back here. And go ahead and put this on the card front. And there you have it, a finished card. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And all of, as usual, all of the description or all of the dimensions and such, um, and um, products are listed in the descriptions below, as well as my social sites. So uh, you can find me elsewhere and follow me and see what I'm up to. So thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. And until next time.